What's everybody? Welcome to my first segment of Way Back Wednesday. Uh, first of all, I'd like to get a huge shout out to Adam Jones for actually coming up with the idea for Wednesday. I didn't know what I really was going to do for this uh, day, but I think that's pretty much going to stay. Way Back Wednesday, I like it. Thanks, Adam, a lot. And for this, I'm going to look into like older decks. Now, I know as you see right now, it's on Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, so obviously it's not that old. Uh, hopefully, in the future, uh, I'll record matches with old world decks. My friend Kenton Anderson has basically all the world's decks. If you've seen my previous videos before I started commentating, we have played world's decks before. So maybe I'll start doing those instead of PTCGO uh, decks. But as you see right here, this uh, deck actually, well, it's David Cohen's world's winning list. Except I had to tweak a couple cards. Um, I'm missing the uh, Deoxys, or Rayquaza Deoxys Legend. Uh, a lot of these cards are hard to get online, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, so I'll just go over some of these cards, if for those who don't know. So let's start off with the very first card, Cleffa. Now Cleffa's kind of your ideal uh, starter. For those who don't know, uh, Cleffa has an attack that costs no energy, and you shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards, and Cleffa is now asleep. Now it seems bad to stay asleep, but his po Cleffa's poker body said, says as long as Cleffa is asleep, prevent all damage done to Cleffa. So basically what you want to do is you want to flip tails when you shuffle your hand to draw six. This is your, like I said, this is what you usually want to start with. It's very good, helps you start. Alright, so on to the next card, we have Reshiram. Now Reshiram is in the current format right now, so we should all know what this does. For two energies, it does outrage 20 plus 10 for each damage counter on Reshiram. But basically you want to use Blue Flare in this, in this uh, deck. So Blue Flare does discard two fire energies attached to this Pokemon, you do 120. And back then, 130 HP was a lot. I remember coming out, we're like, how do we kill these monsters with 130? But now you have Megas with 200 plus, and one day we'll, of course, probably have Pokemon with 300 HP as the uh, power creep keeps happening. Hopefully, one day 130 will be a lot again. I'm kind of getting big, kind of getting annoyed about these big numbers, the big HP numbers. And here we have the Embor line. Embor's kind of your main way of powering up Pokemon. So we'll look at Embor real quick. Uh, he's, I think he's still in the format, if I remember correctly. I think, yeah, I'm not percent sure he is. I could be wrong, though. But what we're using here is Inferno Fandango. And basically, as often as you like during your turn, you may attach a fire energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So instead of just a normal one attachment of energy per turn, you can attach as many fires as you want anyway to any Pokemon. And that's very, very nice in this deck because you're going to be using a lot with Reshiram. And then, of course, Magnezone. Magnezone was probably one of the best cards back in the day with Triumphant. It was used in many decks. Uh, I was also used in a Young Mega Magnezone deck. Uh, There's probably. What was it? Magnezone. Magic Rock? There was another. Ma I mean, Magnezone. Okay. So, first of all, let's, let's go over Magnezone before, you, before I keep freaking out about it. So, here's the big thing Magnetic Draw. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. This power can't be used in Magnezone, is affected by special condition. So, usually, you have Magnezone on your bench. And you use magnetic draw, and you use it multiple times. So if you have two magnet magnet zones, you can use magnetic draw twice. That's why this card was so good back then. It was your built-in draw supporter. I I know everybody wishes we had built-in draw supporters before this. We had Claydol. If you don't know what Claydol is, look it up. It's kind of like this. You draw until you have six, but you can put two in, in your bottom of your deck. <coughs> oh, I miss built-in cards or good stage twos, basically. That's what I miss. But a good attack here. Is Lost Burn. So Lost Burn says put as many energy cards attached to your Pokemon as you like in the Lost Zone. And for those who don't know, Lost Zone is a mechanic where if you put stuff in it, you can't get stuff out of it. So what's in the Lost Zone, it is gone forever. Now there is some cards that let you use the effects of Pokemon in the Lost Zone, but that's for a different day. So when you do that, this tag does 50 damage times the number of energy cards put in the Lost Zone this way. And with this tag, you can actually put energy cards from different Pokemon. So let's say, like, if Cleffa had energy, Reshiram had energy, and Amber had energy. You can pick one off each and do 150. That's why this deck was so strong. So basically, use Amber attached as many fires as you want. You want to start using Reshiram early and then sweep in Magnezone at the end. Like I said, Reshiram discards them into, uh, puts them in the discard, but Magnezone puts them in the Lost Zone. Those are two different, totally different like mechanics, and that's why you always use Reshiram first because once you use Magnezone, they're gone forever. So uh, on to supporters or on to trainers and supporters. So first off, energy retrieval. 
Uh, this one's actually current card. So basically, you just put two basic energies cards from you just fall into your hand. Uh, once you use attack with restroom, you can get the energies back. So that's a good way to get energies back. Now here comes everybody's favorite staple, junk arm. Oh goodness, I wish this card was back. Well, no, if this card was back, Seismito would be probably the junk arm killer. But for those that don't know, junk arm, you discard two cards in your hand, search deck for a trainer card, and show it to your opponent, put it in your hand. Uh, this card was amazing. Uh, you can discard, so basically it says you can discard any two cards, you can discard the energies or at least get it back with energy retrieval, you can get back rare candies, communication, I, oh, the possibilities are endless. I saw this card was so good. I'm not in numbers, uh, could you get some quarters? Right now my brain's, I'm gonna say no you couldn't get supporters. My brain's kinda broke right now. Trainer card, is this trainer card? Uh, okay, I can't remember right now. I'm, oh man, it's been a couple years, oh, I can't remember right now. Sorry guys. Alright, <clears throat> but yeah, Junk Arm was probably one of the best cards ever printed. I think so. I'm not, I would say it's probably one of the best cards ever printed. So next we have Pokemon Communication. So, uh, Pokemon Communication, you reveal a Pokemon in your hand and put it on top of your deck. If you do, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. So basically, if you have like a, a rare candy and a Magneton in your hand and a, mag and a Magnemite on the bench, you can put one communication and Magne Magneton away and get a Magnezone out. So that way you can use, you can uh, evolve easier. You can also use this and you have to, don't have to discard anything like Ultra Ball nowadays. And this is like your main search out for Pokemon cards. We play so many Pokemon in this deck Pokemon Communication that's that's how you search Pokemon that's why it goes hand in hand because you play so many Pokemon sorry that probably was really confusing but since we play so many Pokemon communication is really good to use it with all these Pokemon alright next up Rare Candy so uh, for those who don't know basically Rare Candy lets you skip a middle stage uh, here in this format you still have to wait a turn so you can automatically Rare Candy the Magnezone but it's still really good. Get to skip stage stages, especially with Pokemon communication in your hand. You have a better chance of uh, Pokemon communication than Rare Candy to something. Uh, of course, switch uh, switch your active Pokemon when you branch Pokemon. And then let's see, Freshman. This card people probably don't know about. So you search discard power for four basic energies. Show them to your opponent and put them into your hand. Now this is really good if you like had a Junk Arm energies early. If you had to use Blue Flare to knock out Pokemon. You get all your energies back, or four energies back, Fishman. So, uh, Pokemon Collector. It's kind of like Fan Club in the format now, except you search for three base Pokemon to put in, in your hand instead of just two. Uh, I kind of wish Fan Club lets you search for three. I don't know why they made it when you only search for two, because this card wasn't that broke, and it was like, okay, I can use my support for trying to get three Pokemon, but now you're only getting two, so it makes Fan Club seem kind of use not useless but not as useful as a collector I kinda wish that fan club did say the same effect as Pokemon Collector alright next up we have Professor Oak's new theory oh probably one of the best supporters ever printed uh, besides twins which we'll see that in a second so for those who know Professor Oak you shuffle your hand into your deck and draw six so you don't even have to discard any cards you just put your hand into your deck and draw six if you have one card you can just play Fresh Oak and draw a whole new hand without to being punished. That's why this card was so good. So next up we have Twins. Oh, everybody's favorite. I, I don't know. I seem like a lot of people like Twins. So basically, I'll read what card says. You may use this card only if you have more prize cards left than your opponent. Search deck for any two cards and put them in your hand. Shuffle your hit deck afterwards. Basically what this card says, if your opponent is beating you, if your opponent is beating you. So let's say your opponent has three prizes and you have five. You're allowed to use twins and search any two cards from your deck. And you don't have to show your opponent, you just keep them to yourself secret. That's what the deck's place three of them. This deck is a big setup deck, so you're gonna start losing you're gonna start losing fairly quickly, but twins is how you get uh get set up kind of it kinda of helps you. Like even though you're set up slowly, you kinda of set up fast with twins. Uh you can twins for like a rare candy and magnezone, and then once you do that you can magnet a draw for six new cards. Oh, it's such a fun deck. It's just a concept of Magnezone Twins that's so good. Uh, so next up we have Rescue Energy. Um, <coughs> Rescue Energy provides a colorless energy. If the Pokemon this card is naturally is knocked out by damage from an attack, put that Pokemon back into your hand. So let's say somebody you have a Rescue Energy on a Magnezone. Somebody knocks it out. Now not through poison, 
and not through confusion. You get knocked out by damage from an attack. Um, so actually somebody physically, not physically, but you know, put damage counters on your Pokemon and knocked you out that way. The Pokemon will go back into your hand. So, But you discard all cards, so like all the energy has been gone, and if you had any tools, which I don't think anybody really played tools back then, they go, they would get discarded also. And they would play 9 Fire and 4 Lightning. You play kind of a heavier count just because you need a lot to use Magnezone and Reshiram. So, like I said, the deck is missing the Rayquaza Deoxys Legend. Uh, if you want to know more about those, look it up. I'm also missing, I'm missing a Cleffa. It plays two. This one plays... Uh, I only have one. So I put another Magnemite in there. I can't remember what else is that I got switched out. I think it only played like three Junk Arm, maybe... So basically, I the cards that didn't have, I kind of just try to like boost up consistency the best I could. And um, I would try to play like at least one or two games of this just to show you how the deck works. But I'm going to get smashed. Like, I'm going to get pooped on really bad playing this deck. But it's going to be fun. Uh, hopefully, we can play against not so meta decks and uh, have a, maybe a chance to show you the power of this deck. So let's see here. Let's go to right, and we'll select the deck. So we're in unlimited. Let's see, where is it at? Where's Twinbore? For those who don't know, if you want to know more about the deck, look, just look up Twinbore. It was powered by David Cohen. I think I said Coates earlier. <laughs> David Coates, but no, it's David Cohen, who is uh, who is our world champion from 2011. Yeah, I want to say 2011. Alright, so let's see. Let's play a deck with Twin Boar. Let's see what happens. Oh, hopefully we get a... Oh, just a water deck. This could be bad. It could be like a my loaded kind of pass kind of thing. Hopefully it's not. So let's see here. I get to go first. Back then, when you went first, you could actually attack with Eevee. Or not Eevee. <laughs> oh, goodness. You could attack with Cleffa, which made it really good. Alright, so it looks like we're actually playing against a deck, maybe? Or probably not. Hold on a second. I don't know what's going on. I'm pulling this mulligan multiple, multiple times. There's three. Four. How many times can we go? Five. <laughs> Six. Is he playing one, one water Pokemon? I think he is. Seven. Holy goodness. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Okay, so 27 times. He must be playing one water Pokemon. Alright, we're going to draw for all those. Why not? Oh, we're going to say yes so many times right now. And he's just going to scoop up his card. <laughs> why, why does this happen to me? I don't even have time to click yes yet. But we're going to have a solid hand. We're going to have so many Pokemon. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, we have to be close. Come on now. Alright. I can't even see my. <laughs> okay, so I can select up to four. Yeah, we'll drop all these Megalites. Sure, why not? A one Seismic Toad. Holy cow. I can't even see my cards. That's crazy. I think he's just gonna turn to Quake and punch me. All right, we're doing a touch of fire here. There's a retreat. I can't see anything. I think I see three other candies: Magnezone, Magnezone, and Boy. So, <laughs> all right. Hopefully, he doesn't Quake and punch me, and I get a turn. Oh goodness! Let's see what happens here. Skates. Gets a heads. Skates again. I have no idea what's going on right now. Verbink, Laser. Tails, copycat for a billion cards. Oh no, he gets. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so this deck actually seems kind of legit right now. It's kind of funny. Oh goodness. Alright, so Sazen Tail is supposed to do 60 damage, 130. Alright, bye bye, Rich that, that was nice knowing you. Are you going to send a Magnemite? Hopefully, okay, so we got three Fresh Oaks. Like I said, Fresh Oaks, shove your hand into your deck and draw six cards. Oh, we get a Cleffa. Alright. Let's see. 
Yeah. We'll retreat. We'll set up Cleffa. Like I said, Cleffa has the attack. Eek. Shut up your handy deck. Oh no, I said wake up. No, he's just gonna quake and punch me now. <laughs> oh no, this is going downhill real quick. Uh, <coughs> like I said, uh, Seismito kind of breaks a lot of decks. Seismito, for those who know, Quake a Punch makes it where I can't play any item cards. So that's going to be interesting. Alright, let's go Magnemite. Come on, buddy. Maybe I have to, like, just manually, pa <laughs> manually set up Pokemon. It's going to be kind of hard. Alright, we'll attach a fire to Magnemite. Pokemon Collector. Uh, let's see here. I know I saw a Magneton. There's a Magneton. Magnezone, Pig Knight. Alright, so we can manually evolve into a into a Magnezone and Imbor. So on our opponent's turn, <laughs> with this bustle, he's doing 50. He's just knocking out all my Pokemon. This is not, oh my goodness, another red card. Okay, we get a Pig Knight though. That's really good. Alright, so next turn we can evolve into a Magnezone, uh, into an Imbor. Very nice. I'll go touch this fire to Pig Knight. I'm just gonna end my turn. Next turn we have to draw into a, a Magnemite. At least have a shot. Okay, so he doesn't knock out my Trisham very nice. No, I didn't get a Magnum Magnemite a Magne uh what's the middle stage between Magnemite and Magnezone? Magneton, there we go. Alright, bye bye Reshiram. Nice knowing you guy. So we said a Magnemite. Oh, I can't play any of these cards. <laughs> the pain. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna set up Magnemite. Hope we draw to Magneton. Okay, so we draw to Magneton. Holy cow! If he doesn't have a laser, which I'm 99 sure he does, it's gonna be game over. Don't play the laser. Let me stay one more turn. No, the laser. Now he's gonna do 80 and knock me out. No, we had the Magneton for next turn. <laughs> oh, defeat. What a horrible defeat. We had all those cards in the beginning. They didn't rank card in me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Here, we'll play one more. We'll try to see what happens. Hopefully, we'll play against a size with their deck. Maybe I should have oaked earlier just because I knew he was playing copycat. I didn't even think about the the copycat red card I had there. That's pretty funny though. Alright, so search for another poke another opponent. Hopefully, like I say, uh we can play against a non size and deck and maybe have a chance. Either way, it's not gonna look good for us. Oh, a grass and a steel. Interesting. You're not I'm never not ever sure where I'm gonna find in super expanded mode. Alright, so if you see a magnemite start with the twins and collector. Okay, so Rizian. Oh, goodness. This is a regular Rizian Genesec deck. It's going to go down real quick. Well, I, I do play Rishram. So let's think about this. Is, it, is this a grass energy? Why is it not showing up? I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Is that a grass energy? Okay, so Emerald Slash is going to knock me out next turn. That's depressing. Alright, let's think about this. Uh, is this Rainer Spark? Uh oh, no. Oh. Alright, I got an idea. Here we go. We're going to attach this lightning here and we're going to use magnetic switch. We're going to send up Tepeg. We're going to sacrifice this Tepeg. Oh, Tepeg has 60. Oh, never mind, laser. Oh, never, never mind. Alright, so what I can use twins, I can use it to get a uh, rare candy and a magnezone. It's going to be very nice. Okay, and we can start. Okay, hold on a second. Let's think here. Let's twins. We'll grab a Magnezone and a Rare Candy. But before I evolve, I'm going to use... Oh, oh, I didn't even check to see if it was in there. I'm trying to see if, if Clef is in there. I can get Clef out. Clef is not in there. Okay, that's... Downfall number one. But we're going to get Bresh Ram. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to uh, bench the Bresh Ram. Retreat, because Magnemite only has one retreat call. Send in Bresh Ram. Attach a fire, rare candy, magnezone here. Okay, there we go. Now we use magnet draw, and basically, like I said earlier, we were thought to have six cards in our hand. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we're just gonna hold this. There's nothing else I really need to do. And next turn, if I get an Embor, I can just win. I can just blue flare for 200 and 
Oh my goodness, we might have a chance. This deck might actually win. Oh, we did it. Okay, with the clutch. Um, oh wait, no, we don't have enough. Hmm, no, we don't win yet. Okay, sorry, sorry. Got too, got a little bit too excited. Okay, we're gonna collector. We're gonna get another magnemite. We're gonna get two magnemites. We're gonna bench, put those both down, and or put one down, and put another tepic down. Well, Pokemon communication, a magnemite, Ford Embor. Okay. Now we'll rare candy the pet hepic into an Embor. Okay. Then we'll put the lightning energy on Rishram. And now we are going to magnet and draw. Hopefully, we draw into a fire energy. Oh, we did it. We did it. Inferno Fandango. Right here. Blue flare for knockout. Twin board just won a game. And knocked out Big Bad Verizian. That's how we do a Rishram. That is a win in the books. Oh, we went with the old deck. I'm so excited. And we get a mystery prize. Holy cow, what can it be? Hopefully it's a Cleffa. <laughs> or an older pack. I wish it was an old way to get older packs. Alright, let's see what it is. Let's hope for something good. And <laughs> it gets us. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Well, that... <laughs> Alright, well thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, Way Back Wednesday edition. Uh, like I said, hopefully... Later on, later on, I can record some of the older world decks at my friend Kenton's house. Uh, please leave in the comments down below what world decks you want to see first. I'll try to get those out. I think the only ones we're missing is like 07 or 06. Whichever one that Lugia is in. And if you know anything about old decks, you know you know what worlds you're talking about. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, the Lugia set. Those are all expensive. So, sorry we don't have those world decks. But I think we have every other one. Except, like, all the new current ones. But who cares about the current ones? Everybody knows about the current ones. We will play old ones. So, uh, please let me know in the comments below what you want to see. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked the video. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe. And uh, have a good day. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.